Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a link in bio page with Canva. And you can use it for your own link in bio page, or you can um, create templates and sell them for uh, link in bio pages. So to start, you're going to create a new design and you can use an Instagram story. Um, you can go up here to create a design and just, you know, if it's there, pick Instagram story or a custom size is 1080 wide by 1920 tall. Okay. And now that we have our blank uh, design open, uh, what we're going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is change the background color on this, okay? And I think I'm going to use this light pale pink. And now we just start adding our design elements to it. Um, I think what I'm going to do is put a frame at the top like this so we get like a little uh, image banner, okay? And then I think I want round doodle, doodle frame in graphics. Let's see what we got here. Um, I think we'll use this. And then I want a round. Actually, I'm just going to use this one, the torn paper frame. Get rid of that. And I'm going to move this frame up here. I'm going to make it smaller. Put it right in the middle there, I think. Okay. And now I'm going to fill in this top frame with uh, watercolor. I'm going to look for a watercolor background and I'm going to pick one that matches my pink um, background. What, oh, what about this one? Yeah, I like that. What do you think? I think that looks good. And then in this frame here, I am just going to grab one of my pictures. Okay where you can put anything in that frame. It doesn't have to be a picture of you. It can be, you know, your logo, whatever. Um, the next thing I want to do is put a little bit of text at the top. Just going to put hello there. Going to center that. All right, and now our next step would be to start putting in our buttons for our uh, links. So we're gonna go back here to elements and I'm just gonna grab the square shape and I'm gonna stretch it out, make it a rectangle. And we're just gonna start lining these up I do think I want a little black and white flower. I'm just going to put a cute little flower on that button. Nothing crazy, just something to add a little bit. And, you know, you could add a check mark, you could add uh, anything you wanted, really. But I think I'm just going to. Put a cute little flower on there. Line that up. Okay. And now we need to add some text. But we don't want that. We want regular. And we're going to write website. We're going to put that up here on our button. And I'm going to center it. Now I'm going to select the button and the graphics. And I'm going to duplicate it. And bring it down and now I'm going to duplicate those two 
Whoops. 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 Okay. There we go. Sometimes I struggle. Now we're going to bring them down. And, you know, you can just keep duplicating and they will um, line up exactly where you want them. They'll, uh, when you duplicate, they'll position themselves is what I'm trying to say. Okay, and now if you want, you can put social media icons across the bottom. All right, let's go. Uh, let's grab our Instagram. And we're going to make sure these are all the same size. And we got Facebook. Let's go with that one. Bring that down. Put that right there. And now what do we need? Facebook, how about YouTube? Let's grab the YouTube one. Put that down there. I'm trying to make sure these are all pretty much the same size. And how about Pinterest? We'll grab the pin because that's kind of cute. All right, now you have these all down along the bottom here and you can click tidy up and it will sort them and align them all evenly. All right. and. So now you have your social links at the bottom. You have all your buttons here for your various websites. So the first one is website. Let's say the second one is my Amazon storefront. And we're gonna make that a little bit smaller. Okay, and you know, this one can be your freebie offer if you have it. This one can be your uh, newsletter, sign up page, whatever, whatever you want people to visit. So next is turning these into links. So I am just going to, actually I'm gonna make the button itself the link. That way as soon as anybody hovers over any part of the button it will work instead of just the text. So we're gonna go and button and our link and put your website link in there and now that is a link and you just repeat the process for all your buttons and your social channels all right now um, if you were selling this template okay um, your next step would be to create a link for it that you can give to your customers so that they can edit uh, the template in their Canva account. The thing I would do at this point is I would remove the background, I would remove the image, and I would just put uh, placeholder texts in here, okay? And then you would go to share, more, and you would click on template link, okay? Then you click on create template link, and that will give you a link. Here, we'll copy and paste that in a new tab, and we'll show you. It will come up and tell people, uh, template created by Rhonda J was shared with you. Start designing now. And then they will be able to um, edit this template to suit them. Okay, but we are going to go back over here. So now you know you just uh, create a template link if you want to sell these or share the designs you make with someone else. What we're going to do now is show you how you can publish this so you have your own link and bio page. So we're going to go to share and we're going to go down here to more and in my share, I have a website. If you don't see that, you can just search for website. And you're going to select website. 
and we're going to click on convert to website and you see it made it larger now and this is what somebody who is on a uh, desktop or a laptop um, that this is the view that they will see and we want this without navigation and we want it to resize on mobile now um, you can have a free uh, link in bio page through Canva you can purchase a domain or you can use an existing domain if you want but we're gonna go with the free domain publish to a Canva domain and click continue now you give this page any name you want my links three and then you just put a description in here where you can find me all right and then we will click publish check your uh, advanced settings uh, you can make this a password protected page if you want but that's not what we want so just click publish and canva is getting it ready and you have your own link and bio page and like I said this is the view on a desktop and if you hover over your button here it is a link to my website right there so that worked and all of these would be links as well but now you have your own link and bio page now you can also you know this is a pretty long link you could go to um, bitly or you know any number of other uh, link shortening services in fact I use link pod and I have I believe there's a link for that website below in the description they charge you you pay a one-time fee and then you have it for life and you can shorten as many links as you want um, so if you're interested in, in a link shortening service, um, you can check that one out or use one of the other ones. It's totally up to you. But this is how you make a link in bio page. So I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments and I will answer them as soon as I can.